right now we'll, we'll install WSL on the Windows and all required dependencies to make sure the graphical interface is also working. Uh, this is my wife's laptop. Ignore the mess on her desktop. Uh, the problem was that I already installed the whole system on my personal laptop and I basically decided to start from fresh. Okay, so step one. You need to enable the WSL and for that you basically need to open settings. So this is my wife. Uh, then click on apps. Then go to the uh, program and features under related settings. Click on that. And then go to the turn windows features on or off. And then scroll all the way down and you will see this Windows subsystem for Linux. Click on that. Press OK. It will do its job. And then it will basically ask you to restart the computer, which I will do right now and will come back uh, after the restart. All right, we're back after the restart. Now, step number two, we actually need to install the Ubuntu on the after the WSL was enabled. So the way to do that, uh, you basically need to open the Microsoft Store, App Store, and then uh, search for Ubuntu. and just pick the one that has uh, the most downloads and most reviews. So install, starting download, and you just wait. Okay, the product is installed. Let's try to launch it. So it's it's installing. So right now it's asking me to specify the username. I'll just say Abul Qas and the preferred password. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Yeah, and we have the Ubuntu installed in our machine. And that's the end of step number two. So now we have the Ubuntu installed in our machine. Now what we need to do is to make sure that we are able to run the graphical interface of Ubuntu on the Linux, I mean on the Windows machine, right? And in order to achieve this purpose, we'll have to install an X11 a graphical server. Okay, and step number one, we will actually need to download the uh, download the software. And the name of the software is called VCXSRV, VCX server. So let's open the Chrome and uh, download. Just look for VC. XSRV. So it's located in the Source Forge. Download. Just let's wait. Just we can install it right onto the messy desktop of my wife. That's all right. And let's run it. Yes. Okay. So we don't need desktop shortcut. Let's have the phones. Next. Complete it. Close. And we have it installed right here. 
But at this point, don't, don't launch it. We will launch it uh, a little bit later. Now, what we need to do is to configure the, the display of the X server in the Ubuntu terminal. So open the Ubuntu terminal, then go to the home directory, CD, and we are actually in the home directory now, but let's just, for the sake of it, let's just go inside of it, do CD, wiggly line, uh, and then open it with any preferred um, editor. We need to open the .bashrc file. Do I have vim installed? Yes, I have vim. So vim that bash rc. Okay, and just go all the way down. Just ignore all of the stuff that is here. And just add the following line, export display equals localhost semicolon zero point zero and save the file okay after this we need to install all x11 uh, related uh, apps on the ubuntu it's pretty easy just do the following command sudo apt get install x11 dash apps and then enter your password and just wait say yes and wait this might take a while okay now after this done uh, we will need to launch the X server on our machine And it's more safe to close this terminal and reopen it first, right? So open the Ubuntu again, so that the display variable that we that we set actually been uh, actually been changed. And to to check that, we can do echo display, and yeah, it's actually there. So now we need to launch our X server, right? Do the multiple windows, it's okay. Next, 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 finish. And just allow access. I mean, some of you might not allow access. It might be some security like reasons, for security reasons, but it's okay. Now let's try to run XIs. And here they are. So if you see this window up here, this means that we were able to launch a graphical interface, uh, graphical interface application, Ubuntu graphical interface application on the Windows. So that's it. So at this point, you should have Ubuntu on your Windows running. Uh, in, the, in the next tutorial, we will install Magic and uh, install all required uh, technology files and design a simple inverter.